This is a quick introduction to a tool that's known as Scratch. Now Scratch is a great opportunity and a great tool for anyone to build something and maybe even learn something along the way. So when you come in here, you're going to see that you're going to visit scratch.mit.edu who are the creators of this environment. This is a web-based tool, which means you don't have to install anything on your PC in order for it to work. So first and foremost, you'll create an account and once you do, you can come in here, you can create, you can explore other people's creations, you can interact with the community, and then you could also seek help if you need some assistance. There's a lot of tutorials, there's a lot of information out there. So first and foremost, if you click on explore, this is a great way to start to see what's out there in the community. And the community is a really, really vast group of people of, of many different ages, and they're producing and uploading and sharing. So just so you have a sense, if you come in here and you want to click on animations, you can click on an animation and you can come in here and look at, say, Flying Cat and Taco. Click on that. You'll come into a preview area here where you can actually watch the animation once it loads and you can actually then see how it was built. Now, as the project gets loaded, you'll then see that you can expand it to full the full window. And then to start the animation, you can click the green flag either here in the center of the video or up here in the upper right hand corner. You could also see that people can comment on these, they can like them, and so on. Now what's real important about this tool, as you're learning it, you can come in here and click how they, to find out how they did it, you can click see inside. See inside allows you to see all the blocks that they assembled to produce their particular animation. And this is a great way to learn how to build something if you're not sure how to do it. You can actually also take this project and modify it as your own, and that's known as remixing. So when you see the remix, it'll save a copy of the project and it'll add it to your space so that you can then work on it yourself. So it's a neat way to interact with the community, build on other people's ideas, and then learn as you go along. When you go back now, if you click on the scratch icon in the left, upper left hand corner, it'll take you back to the main page. How do you get started? Well, click create. Clicking create opens up the environment and you'll start to see that there's several areas in here and an area for working on your animation or your game and this is where you'll lay out all your sprites. Sprites are actually the graphics that appear down here in your other sprite window and then down the middle column you'll see that these are the blocks that allow you to interact with your sprite, make motion, create an animation, even make a game. And you'll see that they, the scripts here, or the blocks, come in a variety of categories for motion, looks, sounds, working with a pen tool, interacting with a little bit of data to control things a little bit more fine, events, control, sensing, operators, and even more blocks. You can make your own and even add extensions. There's a tab here for costumes, which you'll see that Sprite comes with um, the ability for you to utilize sprites that are already in their library. You can modify or make your, make your own sprite. You can upload sprites and you can even interact with your web camera where you can capture an image and work that into whatever you're building. Last but not least, no game or, in, or animation will be complete without sound. Scratch comes with a whole slew of sounds from their library. You can record your own sounds or if you already have some sounds that you've acquired, you can upload them from your PC. All right, so these are the major areas within there. When we go out to scripts, you can see that the sprite, the scripting area, and this open area here come together to make whatever it is you're trying to produce. So you come in here, if you want to have an event, or actually create an event, you drag blocks out, and then you simply snap them together. And then when you want to see something happen, you can modify various aspects to this and you can click the green flag and it makes the motion. So that's Scratch in a nutshell.